In a village lived a poor old woman, who had gathered together a dish of beans and wanted to cook them. So she made a fire on her hearth, and that it might burn the quicker, she lighted it with a handful of straw. When she was emptying the beans into the pan, one drop of dirt had seen it, and lay on the ground beside the straw. And soon afterwards, a pulling coal from the fire leapt down to the two. Then the straw began to say, "Dear friends, where do you come from?" The coal replied, "I fought with these friends out of the fire, and if I had not escaped by sheer force, my death would have been certain." I should have been burned to ashes," the bean said. "I too have escaped with a whole skin, but if the old woman had got me into the pan, I should have been made into broth without any mercy, like my comrades. And would a better fate have befallen me?" said the straw. The old woman has destroyed all my brothers and sisters in fire and smoke. She seized sixty of them at once and took their lives. A luckless slip through her fingers. But what are we to do now? Said the coal. I think. Answered the bean. That as we have so far to lead the escape death. We should keep together as good friends, and because the new trouble might find us here, we should go away together to a foreign country. The idea pleased the two others, and they settled on their way together. Soon, however, they came to a little brook, and as there was no bridge or foot plank. They did not know how they were to get over it. The straw hit on a good idea and said, "I will lay myself straight across, and then you can walk over on me as on a bridge." The straw there overstretched itself from one bank to the other, and the coal, who was brave but still glowing from the fire. Trip cried boldly onto the newly built bridge, but when she had reached the middle and heard the water rushing beneath her, she was after all afraid, and stood still, and ventured no farther. The straw, however, began to burn, broke in two pieces, and fell into the stream. The coal splashed after her. Hissed when she got into the water, and breathed her last. It would have been all over with her, likewise, if, by good fortune, a tailor who was travelling in search of work had not sat down to rest by the brook, as he had a compassionate heart, he put out his needle and thread, and sewed it together. The bean said him most prettily, but as the tailor just by thread, all beans in them have a blast in.